Welcome everybody, I'm Alexander Linz, Head of Content of WatchAdvisor.com and with me, Davide Cerato, Managing Director of Montblanc Watches. Correct. Correct. Welcome. <laughs> uh, in our second video, this is the second part of the presentation of the watches you guys are seeing at the SIHH, meaning in January when the officially the doors open of the SIHH. Today is uh, 17th of December. And it's snowing outside. And it's snowing outside. So we were lucky to be at Mont Blanc already some weeks earlier to be able to make a nice video for you. Uh, with Davide, who will be very much taken during the SIHH, I think. Busy. Yeah. Um, in the second part of the video, I hope you don't miss the f first one, or if you look this one, uh, don't miss the other one, or if you look the other one, don't miss this one. So don't miss both videos about the Mont Blanc novelties. We're talking about the chronographs, and we have one little more surprise we're going to talk later. The chronographs. Absolutely. Chronograph. In the collection. Exactly. Chronograph is really the backbone of the history of Minerva. That's why we really look back very closely to the chronograph from the 40s and 50s to take inspirations. Uh, and we are presenting here some very, very strong pieces. We have been working on Chronograph Mono Pusher on Minerva now since four years with a lot of success. Um, we are but in a, in, a, in a different price range. Exactly, in yeah. the top price yeah. range, which is our, our top of the range. Uh, but what we are doing here, and I'm very glad to be able of uh, coming with this, is that after, after communicating so much on the Chrono Mono Pusher, now, this year, we are able to bring it down to an accessible price point. Explain Monopusher. <laughs> Absolutely. What is a Monopusher? <laughs> chronograph Monopusher is a beautiful uh, uh, complication, is a further complication of the basic chronograph. Uh, you have the start, stop and reset mechanism, which is all managed by a single pusher button that can be both at the crown, uh, as often happens on the 1629, or, and as it will happen in our accessible chronomono pusher, uh, or at, you know, on a second uh, pusher button that is often for us at one. Yeah, it's inter in this case it's integrated in the crown, so you have the crown, the winding crown, where you wind the watch, you can set the hours, you can set the date, there's no date, but you could set the date in theory, and in integrated in the crown you have a pusher you start you stop and you reset with the same exactly with the same one pusher but okay yeah nice complication so before uh, the, what david said uh, this complication was uh, very expensive because uh, uh, minerva movements were used yeah now you were able to make a deal with uh, with celita uh, we were really looking to bring it down to the accessible to the core what we call the accessible price mm -hmm. point and we found a very nice way of working with the Celita. We have now a one-year exclusivity on the project. Mm -hmm. It's a, an extension of the family of the SW500. It's called SW510. Mm -hmm. And allow us to present a, in a very nice vintage uh, design a chronograph mono pusher at 4,700 euros below five, which is unheard of. Four? Seven. Say that again. 4,700 euros. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, for a mono pusher uh, that uh, is absolutely in line with the vintage theme you're having, the heritage theme, exactly. has two counters on the dial, so it looks really gorgeous. Uh, oversized they're counters. Oversized counters, so they are also not centered in the middle, really positioned where they should be. That's, that's something normally uh, you don't have because the counters are, they, they, they are tricking, they, 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 they are. Some guys uh, try to, uh, f how do you say that? Um, they try to uh, make them look different because the size of the movement is so small. Exactly. And then these counters are not positioned there where you, we expect them to be. Exactly. And in this case, they are in where they... In this case, they are perfectly positioned, perfectly aligned with the center of the hands. And uh, the, the look of the watch in 42 millimeter is really, really beautiful and vintage, really, very classical, very as a mono pusher should be. Yeah. The dial is inspired from the historical timepieces? Absolutely, the dial is, uh, has all the main uh, features of the new heritage product line, indexes in dots, uh, two different treatments of the dial with the kind of floating ring as is behind the numerals and the, and the dots uh, with a different treatment, a grenade one. Dial very much domed and tilted, sapphire crystal dome, so we are really playing with beautiful, sweet uh, uh, ingredients of, uh, of watchmaking lovers from the 50s and 40s. So every time you look on your dial, you might be discovering something different. Uh, As and for example, this very nice detail that we have taken from uh, all our uh, Minerva chronographs, the minute counter 
was uh, really um, uh, particular because we had three lines at three minutes, six minutes and nine that were longer than the others. And this comes from a very nice story in a time where uh, digital was still not there. And to make international phone calls, I had to put coins. Mm -hmm. Those lines were allowing me to know exactly when I needed to put another coin, not to miss the I love you that I was waiting for. Ah, <laughs> that is fantastic. Bravo. <laughs> so you will discover on the, on the counter position at three o'clock, three lines. We will show them in detail, of course. And uh, with these three lines, as you said, uh, it's uh, three, six and nine minutes. Correct. And this was the moment in the old uh, uh, phone cabin. Exactly. <laughs> Next coin. <laughs> 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 me too, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, uh, you see those lines on the old chronographs, but you don't know what they are for. If, 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 exactly. if, you, don't, if you aren't told, even me, uh, my generation has, uh, I'm not, I, I, I w if I wouldn't know, I, 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 I wouldn't figure out why. Absolutely. And the younger generation would say, telephone, cabin, what's this? <laughs> it was a smartphone. Very nice, I love it. And of course, uh, the, 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 the case back is engraved. Exactly. As we have seen it already in the basic line. The rest of the line, exactly. Or if you're watching this video before, you will see that in the other video we have been showing this. Okay, and then on top of this? On top of this, we come to the Minerva uh, level, which is the third one with a very, very nice execution of a pulsograph. Uh, we use the Minerva 1321, the 13 lines chronomono pusher completely unmade, completely unfinished. As always, even the air spring is produced in-house in Villaret. Level of finishing of uh, the best that you can find. Uh, and we have uh, really recreated here what collectors look for a lot, which is the doctor's watch. The kind of watches that doctors in the countryside were using to take the pulsation of their uh, clients uh, to mm -hmm. see the, the blood so uh, pressure. How many positions do you need to 30. count? 30 positions yeah. you count and then you read? Exactly. Okay. And uh, that's why we use uh, the pink salmon, this beautiful vintage uh, color that we are playing on the heritage uh, line. Uh, it's 40 millimeter uh, with this very uh, vintage case and uh, with a see-through sapphire crystal for the back to really to see being that. able to enjoy the, to the see beauty that, of this uh, beautiful movie. Movie. And this is of course another price range. Uh, exactly, 28,500 yeah. euros, limited edition 100 pieces. Yeah. Steel uh, case. Steel case yeah. and still a crazy price because if you go on the market and you look for another uh, chronograph model pusher with the same level of finishing prices are flying four or five times higher. So yeah, yeah. So once again, 20,000. 28,500. 28,500. 100 pieces, limited edition, steel case. Numbered edition. Numbered right. edition, posometer, uh, salmon dial, mono pusher, but mono pusher uh, executed differently with a pusher at uh, two o'clock. Exactly. Okay. But still, start, stop, reset in one Same pusher. Button. Same pusher. And uh, as Steve Jobs would have said it, there's one more thing. Absolutely. One more thing, and I think this is uh, a big surprise. I, I didn't expect uh, to see this in the collection. It's not a chronograph. No, um, we are coming after three years of uh, development with uh, an in-house uh, perpetual calendar mm -hmm. movement. Uh, a Mont Blanc uh, one. We used in the past uh, some uh, Dubois de Pra modules. Okay. Uh, but now we wanted to have a, a real uh, perpetual calendar with the uh, wide counters with good readability yeah. with beautiful proportions uh, in-house uh, people will ask now in-house what is in-house at Blanc? so this is real uh, um, uh, a movement that is uh, conceived for you exclusively exactly. from the group exactly absolutely so richement the second level what we call the manufacture is okay. always uh, uh, made up of calibers that are developed uniquely for us yeah. but in the premises of the group I mean which means in an industrial way to be able to do yeah, yeah, yeah. numbers like for example the Nicolas Riosec is uh, exactly the same yeah, the yeah. Geosphere is yeah, exactly yeah. the same so it's Val Fleurier it's the Val exactly. Fleurier the premises of the group yeah, yeah. so Val Fleurier is a, 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 a manufacturing site where they uh, manufacture a lot of movements used by Panerai by Cartier by, by yeah, different for all, for all the brands and also now uh, uh, mm. uh, Mont Blanc has the, the chance or got the opportunity yeah. to have it. So it's a, it's a perpetual calendar completely manufactured for Mont Blanc. Absolutely, with a GMT uh, on top of all the indications. So a home time and, and a home time function. Exactly. 
uh, it has a very interesting feature which is you can correct it in both uh, direction which means that you miss the date you don't have to remanipulate uh, the crown 300 times but you just correct coming back mm -hmm. and also there is a very nice uh, element of the construction of the movement which uh, um, uh, in pitches uh, uh, problems with the, with the movement if you try to correct it between 10 and 2 uh, you, you know that you always have to avoid uh, to manipulate it, in particular with perpetual, which are very complex one. Mm -hmm. uh, and here there is an anti-breaking system for which even if the client tries to manipulate, doesn't happen. Anything. So you don't have to, you don't have to respect any time of setting up the watch. Exactly. Correct. Two versions. Two uh, versions. Steel. Gold. Yeah. Steel. 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 Fourteen thousand nine hundred euros. So as always, very a competitive price yeah. point. Uh, and uh, the pink gold, twenty-four thousand nine hundred. 24,100, that's also, I think, for a pin gold watch, a perpetual calendar, quite competitive. And uh, not limited? The pin gold is limited to 100 pieces, the steel is unlimited. Okay, but we assume that there will be an unlimited version very soon. We assume. We assume, yeah. As always, uh, the watches, and we just described this in, our, uh, in the other video, uh, do have these 500 hours uh, stress test. Absolutely. So Mont Blanc has its own. Uh, uh, Torture chamber. <laughs> Absolutely. Three weeks uh, yeah. of simulation of normal uh, wearing of the watch. <coughs> we test of the running of the movement, of the precision, of the uh, mm, power reserve, uh, water resistant, resistant to shock in such a way that when you deliver these watches, they will already run through real conditions and we know that uh, they are very reliable. Very good, very good. And uh, they are done here in Le Locke. Absolutely. At, uh, at uh, your construction site. Absolutely. So, the one more thing was a real surprise for me. Uh, Davide, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, interesting, uh, interesting presentation, interesting watches. I love the Monopusha. The price, once again, I can't believe it. 4,700 euros. 4,700 euros for such a gorge. gorgeous chronograph. That's really a, f that's a watch that attracts me very much. I don't have to see it too often. Guys, thank you very much. David, thank you very much for coming, for having us here. Thank you, Alexander. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like what we are doing, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to like our videos, and if you have comments to make, and I hope you have some underneath here, please use the comment section. Don't forget that. Ask me, I will ask, I will answer your questions and discuss with you with great pleasure. And uh, thanks for watching, and see you very soon, guys. See you. Ciao.